Hi guys, I really hope you're smashing your revision that is going really well. This video is great because when you're revising, it's always good to give an extra little bit of weight to certain topical areas, especially topical areas in the UK economy, because that's where your exam boards are going to focus their questions towards. Don't think of this as a predictions video, whereby you're going to focus so much on this and sacrifice other things. No. All the topical stuff I'm going to mention here, give an extra bit of weight to, make sure it's in your notes, make sure you know the application to it, make sure you know the economic theory to it. And if it does come up in the exam, then you're great, you're very well prepared, you know the stuff that you need to know. But do not sacrifice other things, just give this weight, and if it does come up in the exam, then great, if it doesn't, who cares, you revise everything else as well. This video is going to focus on micro. What you need to do is to make sure you know the application to this, know the examples to this. You might want to use my examples for example guide on my website for that, or you might have your own general knowledge, or you might want to do your own research, but you've got to have your own application to these topic areas, but also make sure you know your economic theory while the videos on the channel will cover you in that regard. We're going to start by talking about market failure. Market failure always comes up in the exam. It's not going to change this year. You can expect big essay questions on it. But what are the certain topical themes that we can talk about? Well, always, examiners like negative externalities, positive externalities, if it's in your course, merit goods, demerit goods. These are always the most common long essay question styles. But what's topical this year? Definitely the minimum price of alcohol in Scotland. It's a very unique policy. Uh, we've never seen a policy like this before to discourage consumption. Plenty of examples of minimum prices to protect producers, but not in this way. So knowing a little bit about that context is very good. Plastic waste and policies to deal with that is very, very topical at the moment. A lot of policies the UK government is talking about at the moment to reduce the amount of petrol and diesel car use. Um, there are plans put in place to basically ban petrol and diesel, diesel cars on the UK roads by 2040, but also policies to reduce emissions generally. Uh, vehicle emissions and also just, you know, factory emissions, trying to clean up the air. So environmental market failures we're talking about mainly here. Make sure you know about the housing market as a market failure. Plenty of discussion about that. That is a market failure on the grounds of equity. Is it unfair that certain consumers can't access housing, can't get on the housing ladder because the housing market has just led to excessively high prices, which is crowding people out of the market? Know about the housing market and various policy that the government is using to try and encourage more people to enter the housing market and to get on the housing ladder. But also know about tuition fees. Tuition fees is a, um, a major area of discussion at the moment. Is that the right way um, for people to fund their education? Should there be other approaches, maybe alongside or as alternatives? The third runway at Heathrow has just been announced by the government as going ahead. Externalities linked to that. Uh, state provision has been in the news a lot. Is that the best way of funding healthcare? Is that the best way of providing uh, education services? No, the pros and cons of state provision. And again, ways to improve that model, maybe alternatives when it comes to education and health provision. And finally, make sure we know the topic area of fat and obesity. It's uh, examiner's favorite, very topical as well. Various policies uh, that are being used to maybe get people healthier and try and reduce the fat obesity epidemic in the UK. Another major topic area that you know is going to feature, it's such a big topic area, it always does, and that's market structures. The topic area of perfect comp, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, monopoly, and also contestable markets. This big, big topic area that is in microeconomics. It always comes up, it's going to come up again this year. Make sure you look back over the last two years, what market structures haven't featured very much. That's a good guide as to maybe where to give extra weight in your revision. But if there's one topic area that I think is really interesting within market structures, it's contestable markets. Contestable markets, oh my God, so interesting. So many markets have become so much more contestable over the last five years, going back even 10 years, like airlines, like taxis with Uber coming in, very interesting case that, like um, hotels with Airbnb coming in. We look at fast food in the UK, streaming. Um, we look at banking. There are so many interesting examples. Supermarkets, another one. Examiners could latch onto that and maybe might ask you a question about contestable markets. If it does feature, it could be simply pros, cons about contestable markets. Um, are they good? Are they not so good? What are the pros and the cons? Discuss them in that sense. It could be looking at the role of technology. So discussing the role of technology in increasing or reducing contestability of markets. Or it might be a question where you've got to evaluate the extent to which a certain market is contestable. So certainly give an extra bit of weight to contestable markets as well as market structures that haven't featured much in your exam board 
over the last couple of years. It's certainly an area to focus on in Eurovision, for sure. Once you finish your market structures revision, the next topic area is normally heavily under-revised by students, and that is monopoly regulation and competition policy. Basically, you revise market structures, and now we're saying, look, if there are market structures we don't like, is there anything we can do about them? And my God, there are some major hot topic areas within monopoly regulation and competition policy. The energy price cap uh, that has just been introduced this year, from January the 1st this year, is a huge hot topic area. Not just because it's been introduced this year, it's been discussed for many years before. Examiners might latch onto that and ask you a long essay question about it. So no, a little bit about the energy price cap that we've seen in the UK starting from January the 1st this year. Definitely know about it. But even competition policies like privatization and deregulation, they could be long essay questions. Know about those. Know that they apply. Privatization applies to rail, applies to Royal Mail. If they haven't come up already in your exam board, know them well as long essay questions, the pros and cons of it. Deregulation. Maybe that could be linked to airlines in the 1990s. Maybe it could be linked to buses in the 1970s. Uh, maybe it could be linked to energy markets, mobile phone markets, you know, trying to improve the ease of switching for consumers, whatever. Just know your pros and cons of deregulation well. Know the basic application of it as well and you'll be set. Don't under-revise that. But there is one major topic area as well. Just beware of it. It may feature this year and that is nationalization of rail. It's something that Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party have talked about massively. You could argue their number one policy and that is to nationalize rail. He's also talked about nationalizing gas electricity, nationalizing water, nationalizing Royal Mail again. Um, so just make sure nationalization as a topic area, we don't under revise, we know about it, we can apply to various markets and then you'll be set. So do not under revise this topic area of monopoly regulation and competition policy. And then we have the labor market. The labor market is such a big topic area. There's a lot to learn in there. Examiners love to ask questions from the labor market. And yes, there are huge topical themes linked to the UK economy when it comes to the labor market. Make sure for these two topic areas, you know both the consequences and the policies to deal with it. So income inequality and wealth inequality. Examiners have asked a lot of questions about these in the past. There is no reason for them to stop. So knowing the consequences of both income and wealth inequality and then the policies that could be used to deal with it to reduce inequality. Also know about discriminations in the labor market. So much discussion about that recently in the UK. I'd say the last three years, it's really become prominent news. So again, the impacts of that, the consequences of that, and then again, policies that can be used to reduce certain discrimination in the labor market. But also know about the gig economy. This links back to contestable markets and how certain markets really are changing. A lot of entry in, a lot of new ways of competing, um, and the gig economy that's kind of derived from that. The impacts of the gig economy, the consequences of the gig economy, is that good, is that bad? Make sure we know a little bit about that and the labor market impacts from that. So that, guys, are some of the key topical areas for you to give an extra 5-10% weight to in Eurovision. Like I said, this is not a predictions video. It's just a video for you to be aware of some major topical themes. You can revise them well, both the application and the theory behind it. And then if it does come up in your exam, you're ready for it. If it doesn't, you're not sacrificing other things. Doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. I'll see you all for the next video. We're going to do the macro hot topics as well. Thank you.